The Welsh Ladies' Chorus has been in harmony since 2017. They formed after being spurred on by a member of the Welsh Men's Choir. We went to all of the concerts and things like that as this dutiful, supportive wives and partners that we are. And he says, isn't it about time you lot did something? Um, we sort of said, well, mm, all right, then we're not doing it on Friday because they practiced on a Friday back then. Nine ladies showed up and the chorus was born. Now, years later, they are 44 singers strong. In the male Welsh chorus tradition, the women do not perform with sheet music. They all came from the mines back in the day because they, they uh, I guess, sung to make themselves happier because of the awful life that they were probably living at the time um, back in the early 1800s. So they, they all knew the songs because none of them could read anyway. So if you look at any male voice choirs, you will never see music. And we just followed along. Um, but after about two years, we thought, well, we can grow up and do our own thing. So, balking tradition, they learn the tunes with music, but still perform without. They sing in Welsh, English, French, Afrikaans, and Italian. Particularly with, with Welsh, um, we do have one of the, well, actually a few of the men's choir will come to our practices at, at this time to go through phonetics and pronunciation with us, uh, particularly those that, that don't speak Welsh or have no, no Welsh in them at all, which not not putting them down about. Bernadette McDonald joined the chorus at the beginning of this year. The first thing I was so impressed with was how welcoming it was. Like it was just such a warm and friendly and welcoming group. Um, really a, a group of just lovely ladies from really different backgrounds but um, was so welcoming and I just loved it right away. Well just come out it gives you confidence. You build friendships. Um, you really have a good laugh and a joke at half time. So you get to know them and you get to know different people and it's really great. You don't need to have a Welsh background or the ability to read music, even though founding member Angela Hubble has both. Because I've always loved singing and when I was living in Wales I belonged to an operatic society. She was originally inspired by her late husband, who enjoyed singing in the men's choir for years. Sadly, yes, yeah, so he never ever heard how improved we were, you know, from inception to now, you know. And they've certainly come a long way since 2017. We've been invited to the International Choral Festival in St John's in Newfoundland, so we're really, really excited about that and, and getting very nervous thinking, are we good enough? But it's going to be fun, it's going to be great. You can watch them perform on October 28th at Wellington Square United Church, along with guests Jazz Quartet, Four Score. Just come out and join us. Everybody's welcome. <laughs> Reporting for Halton News, I'm Nikki Wesley.